Russia has lost another Su-34 fighter jet. It was reportedly shot down by an American F-16 that was handed over to Ukraine, which became the basis for attacks on Washington and aid to Kiev. The National Interest writes that at least three dozen Su-34s have already been destroyed during the war with Ukraine, which is almost a quarter of the Russian Federation's pre-war fleet of 140 aircraft. It is noted that combat losses outpace production. Russia is on the offensive in Ukraine, but this incident can be seen as a major setback because the Su-34s are the aircraft that Russia uses to destroy Ukrainian infrastructure, explains geopolitical analyst Irina Sukerman, president of Scarab Rising. It is noteworthy that the news of the loss of the Russian plane immediately appeared on social networks and from the accounts of pro-Kremlin mill bloggers who regularly report on the progress of the war on Telegram. They are critical of the military actions, even if they demonstrate support for Vladimir Putin. These propagandists are trying to make Ukraine into a villain and thereby create anti-Ukrainian sentiment among their own population, said Susan Campbell, a distinguished professor at the School of Communication at the University of New Haven. Even when mill bloggers mourn the loss of the Su-34 and criticize the conduct of military operations, this is also aimed at inciting anti-American sentiment, she said. The use of the F-16s here is important because pro-Kremlin propagandists are looking for any excuse to attack U.S. aid to Ukraine and to prove that Ukraine is just a proxy for the CIA slash MI6, etc., who are directly attacking Russia with their equipment, Zuckerman suggested. It's another way to discredit NATO and support their conspiracy theories that the alliance has been plotting to attack or invade Russia all along. It's also a good way to spin the failure and the fact that Russian air superiority has now been effectively weakened. Even despite criticism of Russia's military leadership, the message that NATO poses a serious threat remains in force. The spirit of these posts from pro-Kremlin bloggers is clearly intended to highlight the dangers of NATO and the possibility of future such attacks, perhaps as a justification for new and more serious airstrikes in Ukraine or even a potential justification for taking provocative action against NATO," Zuckerman concluded. A video is gaining popularity on social networks, in which Russian blogger and Z volunteer Evgeny Golman said that the Russian army practices executions and reprisals against unwanted fighters who refuse to pay the command. He sharply criticized Russian propaganda and personally Skabeva for lying as well as the command and demanded that the situation be urgently sorted out. What's going on in the army? The guys are being reset for not paying their share. According to Skabeva, it turns out that we've already walked around the earth twice. But in reality, there's a brutal war going on, he declares, listing the most brutal practices of the Russian army, which are applied to Russian soldiers. He noted the dispatch of assault squads of soldiers who have been trained to operate drones. Bureaucracy and lies have engulfed various structures of the Russian armed forces and headquarters are drowning in paper reports. At the same time, betrayal also occurs in the rear, where prices are constantly rising and the country's authorities do not react to the war crimes of commanders against Russian soldiers in the combat zone. 
Russian frontline soldiers have a system of bribes to purchase various services including injuries, leave, rotation and even to avoid active combat altogether. According to the Ukrainian underground within the Western military district of the Russian armed forces, there is an increase in the number of convictions under the article on fraud with payments in garrison courts in Russia. In particular, it is noted that after the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by the Russian Federation and especially over the past six months, within the Kursk, Bryansk and Belgorod regions, commanders of various levels in their units provide servicemen with various so-called benefits. These benefits include a new military rank, days off, vacations and new category of sea drivers licenses for a certain amount of money. There is also a new trend of fraudulent schemes by the enemy forces. Russian commanders have started selling so-called kickbacks, fictitious certificates of injury, inclusion in the list of state awards for participation in the war against Ukraine and the ability to avoid punishment for using personal smartphones. Kickbacks are also used to avoid combat missions, i.e. to be sent to the front line.